Hello, it's your boy Henry Prince Mac here. That dong It's the Lunar New Year holidays right now, and while I was on holidays, I came across a hashtag. Hashtag justice for 18. So I did a little research on it and I found a news article that said 18 asking for help. And I found out it was a K-pop group of young boys who were sexually abused and inappropriately touched by their CEO and his wife. What's even more disturbing is that they did it in front of their own daughter. That's effed up. In this video, I will not be dabbing as usual because I'm angry. For one, these young boys were sexually abused. And two, I'm angry because in the news it says K-pop group asking for help. And then I find out that over a month ago, they had already stepped up and filed a lawsuit to the police. But now they're on the Instagram asking for help. So what's this? Has the police given up on this case? They shouldn't be asking for help. They should be given help. But then I have a question here. How do they have control over the group's official Instagram? Because from my many years experience, usually the official Instagram account is managed by the company. There's not a lot of information on this issue right now. I don't know if it's because there's lack of evidence or if it's because the CEO is so powerful that he was able to prevent the news from outbreaking. Because seriously, this kind of stuff should be making big headlines. And right now there's not a lot of news source covering it. But from the very few that did, it says that the members are accusing the CEO and his wife for sexually assaulting six of the 10 members with two of them being underaged, and the CEO calls bullshit. 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 He says that the members are making false claims because the company refused to change their contracts. The 18 members said that this kind of sexual assault has been an ongoing thing, and they were too afraid to retaliate because they were worried that it will tarnish the chances of debuting. They haven't even made their official debut in Korea yet. They didn't want to ruin the chances of achieving their dreams. That's so messed up. That's probably why so many K-pop stars don't say anything even after they've been sexually abused or pressured to have sex. Sexual abuse in the show business is no news to anyone. But it just seems that in Korea, it's a bit worse than the rest of the world. The amount of K-pop stars who have been sexually abused at some point is pretty shocking. And in Korea, the laws are just not strict or powerful enough to protect victims. One law that I'm aware of is that the age of consent is 13. 13 years old! When I was 13, I was still catching Pokemon. And you know what, it was only until 2012 when there was a law for raping boys underaged. So in Korea, I think till today, they still think that boys of age, older boys, cannot get raped. Because there's no law for it. They only have laws for raping boys underaged. There have been so many cases before in the K-pop industry where managers pimp out their stars to diplomats, executives, and businessmen. Two thirds of Korean women have said that they have been pressured into having sex with powerful executives. It's kind of a thing that if you don't do it, your career is not going to move forward. So back to 18. If all this is true, I really hope they get the justice they deserve. I know as a YouTuber and as a viewer, there's not much we can do for them. But ever since I left K-pop, I have been trying to make people aware of the issues that happen in the industry. And this issue needs us to take action right now. They did it in front of their own daughter. That's effed up. Drop my phone. Oh my god, my phone cracked. <laughs> Subscribe to me, guys, so I can buy a new phone. <laughs> it's 
justice for 18.